What's up, Reef Keepers? My name's George, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the hard but honest truth as to why your reef tank looks horrible. Your corals are dying, everything's covered in algae, and no matter how hard you try, you just can't get your reef tank to click. So first of all, guys, we've all been there before. Every single reef keeper, including me, has gone through this stage. And I've wanted to make this video for a really long time now because it truly is a breaking point for hobbyists where your dream of having a beautiful reef tank starts to feel impossible and you either quit or you keep going. And I know how hard it is, especially if you're setting up your first saltwater tank, but I don't want you to give up yet. If you can address the three things I'm about to tell you, you may be able to turn that subpar tank into the reef tank of your dreams. You can do it! Reason number one has to do with the two E's, expectations and experiences. Too often, beginners jump into the hobby with really high expectations for their tanks when they only have a minimal amount of experience. Your tank may not look as good as you want it to, but you have to realize that 90% of saltwater tanks look like this, not this. And those unbelievable reef tanks that you see on Google Images, they're almost always kept by hobbyists who have a lot of experience. So how do you gain that experience? Many hobbyists like me gained our experience the hard way by spending years making mistakes and then correcting them. But there is a shortcut to this, which is why you'll sometimes see beginner hobbyists have extremely successful reef tanks within a year. You ready for it? All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. <laughs> That'll help, but the real reason is research. And this is where you have to be honest with yourself. You can't expect your reef tank to look amazing if you're not putting in the time to research anything. You can pick up a ton of experience by learning from other hobbyist successes and failures, which are all over the internet. Now, unfortunately, what most of you do is you experience a problem with your tank, and then you try to frantically search for the solution to it. You need to spend hours reading books, online forums, getting advice from other hobbyists before you make that impulse livestock purchase, before you buy that unnecessary piece of equipment, before you make that big mistake that causes your tank to crash. Whoa, Whoa big, 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 big crash. Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. And these are the kinds of mistakes that eat up your budget, which was already tight to begin with. Many hobbyists simply move too fast. If you slow down, do your research, get advice from hobbyists who have really good looking tanks and plan things out, you're gonna save a lot of money and you're gonna gain that much needed experience. But guys, seriously, subscribe. Reason number two that your tank looks horrible is bad water quality, but you wouldn't know it because you're not testing your water. There can be tons of little reasons why your reef tank doesn't look as good as you want it to, but it usually boils down to poor water quality and unstable parameters. Now I understand that aquarium water chemistry can be extremely complicated and very intimidating, but you're going to at least have to test your water regularly if you want to be able to keep healthy and growing corals. Aquarium test kits have come a long way, and today's video sponsor, Hannah Instruments, has created some really impressive devices to help make testing your water easy. I know that 99% of you guys out there who are struggling with your reef tanks are not testing your water. Now I get why most test kits require tons of steps, making you feel like a mad scientist. Plus, you have to match some color to a given chart that basically makes you guess what the result is. These Hannah checkers are actually really fast and easy to use. All you have to do is put your water and reagent in the vial, put it in the checker, and it'll digitally show you an accurate and precise reading. My favorite product and the one I usually recommend for people's first HANA checker is the low range phosphate checker because it helps solve nutrient and algae issues. But they also just came out with a brand new pH tester and being able to pinpoint these kinds of measurements is essential for keeping a successful reef tank. These are the best it gets in terms of testing and they'll pay for themselves over time, making them very affordable investments. But to make them even more affordable, I'm giving you guys a special discount code. I'm gonna put it in the description below, which will give you 10% off any of their aquarium testers. But now back to reason number three, why your reef tank looks horrible. is because you don't do enough 
water changes. Too many of you guys are adding some kind of a liquid chemical to try to remove your nitrates, or you're squirting just random amounts of liquid supplements into your tank because the back of a bottle tells you to. First, you should never be dosing anything into your tank that you don't test for. Second, let me tell you a little secret that some of these aquarium companies don't really want you to know. If you're regularly doing water changes with a high quality salt brand, then you don't need any of these. I'll say it again, if your reef tank doesn't look the way you want it to, then you're not doing enough water changes. Over time, your reef tank's water parameters become unbalanced, and what a water change does is it resets everything back to normal, and you can't change all your water at once, which is why, if your tank looks like this, you need to be doing water changes every couple days until it doesn't look like that anymore. So many people ask me, how do I get rid of cyanobacteria? How do I get rid of my algae issue? George, I just did a water change and it came back. It won't go away. Well, you have to do another one. And another one. Go get yourself an RODI machine. Go get yourself a new bucket of salt. Guys, the people who are having success in this hobby don't have some secret formula. They're just religiously doing water changes, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, you can never do too many water changes. And even when you think the problem may have to do with lighting, water flow, or excess feeding, a water change will solve the majority of your tank's issues when you don't really know what the problem is. So if you really wanna turn your tank around, subscribe to my channel, like this video below, and go do a water change. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, there really are so many different reasons why your reef tank may not be looking as good as you want it to. But I guarantee if you're consistent with doing your research, testing your water, and keeping up with your water changes, you're really building the foundation to be successful in this hobby. And you can definitely have the reef aquarium of your dreams. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out. Seriously, you should probably fire up your RODI machine.